The end is closer than you think. Are you ready? Good morning. Today, I'm very proud of myself. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. Live from an undisclosed location. Right. This is The Meltdown. And here is your host, Darian Anthony. Welcome. Isn't it strange how we idolize celebrity doctors? Like this guy? Or this guy? Or this guy? Or, for instance, this guy? What about... I'm not really even sure if she's a doctor. I mean, she might be. She might be. I don't know. Let's talk about Dr. Anthony Fauci. I don't know. But I found some things to be weird. For instance, and I'm not here to bash the doc. I'm not. I'm not here. This isn't about that. Okay? This isn't about that. Look, all I've noticed is a couple things that just don't add up. For instance, this is old Fauci. And this is new Fauci. <laughs> Get that out of here. Anyways, <laughs> this episode isn't about that at all. It's about trust and idolatry. It's about how we as a society take scientists like Fauci at their word. And every time they get on TV, we're glued to it. We believe everything they say. No matter what they say, no matter what direction they take, we completely trust them. And that might not be good, healthy for our society. Look, even if they change their story over and over again, I'm surprised how see people, they just, oh no, I believe them and just believe them no matter what. It's like if you were lost and the guide you paid or you hired kept changing directions and kept changing his mind, you'd be completely, tr you'd be completely frustrated. It, I, would, <laughs> I would be like, is this guy like lost? <laughs> I think I think we're lost, man. <laughs> hey, man, do you know where you're going? <laughs> in headlines, in headlines this week, it was all about the fall of Cuomo. And listen, we're told a major announcement. The independent investigation has concluded that Governor Andrew Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women, and in doing so, violated federal and state law. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has been accused of harassing multiple women. Tonight, Governor Andrew Cuomo's attorneys are blasting the New York Attorney General's report that accused him of sexually harassing 11 women. I don't know. He just looks guilty to me. He does. Look. A terrible picture. I'm just saying that's a terrible picture. Why did we bring that picture in? <laughs> so it's all about DeSantis and Biden. As the Delta variant spreads and COVID cases are on the rise, the president seems to think red states are to blame for the surge, lashing out at governors like Florida's Ron DeSantis over his tough stand against COVID restrictions and mask mandates. Some governors aren't willing to do the right thing, to, but you aren't going to help at least get out of the way. The people are trying to do the right thing. But Governor DeSantis is fighting back, implying it's the president who is doing the wrong thing on many fronts, including the border. Joe Biden suggests that if you don't do lockdown policies, then you should, quote, get out of the way. But let me tell you this. If you're coming after the rights of parents in Florida, I'm standing in your way. If you're trying to restrict people, impose mandates, if you're trying to ruin their jobs and their livelihoods and their small business, if you are trying to lock people down, I am standing in your way and I'm standing for the people of Florida. So why don't you do your job? Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. Thank you. I don't know. I like it. 
In other news, Moderna says its protection doesn't wane after six months. U.S. biotech firm Moderna says its COVID-19 vaccine remained 93% effective against the virus in the six months after the second dose. However, the company believes that a booster shot will still be necessary prior to the winter season to contain the spread of the Delta variant. The findings were released on Thursday prior to Moderna's earnings call, where the company also said its booster shot candidates generated a robust immune response against the Delta variant in a phase two study. Hmm. Did you know that Moderna's earnings were pretty good? And that's not always enough following a 141% rise. I don't know, I find this extremely weird. By the way, their stock has more than doubled during the past three months. <laughs> CDC investigating after cake mix linked to E. coli outbreak in 12 states. <laughs> this is me. Why did you tell me that? Why did you? The CDC is warning consumers not to taste or eat raw cake batter, whether it's homemade or from a mix. It could contain harmful bacteria. It doesn't matter. This is, I'm still going to eat it. In other news, star-studded super spreader Obama birthday party that you're not invited to. I think it's today or this weekend. Might be. At the Obama birthday party, they're going to party like it's 2019. A massive tent re was erected ahead of Obama's party at Martha's Vineyard. Let's take a look. As the U.S. grapples with a spike in coronavirus cases and new mask guidelines, former President Barack Obama is gearing up for his 60th birthday, reportedly planning a 700-person party in Martha's Vineyard. White House correspondent for Fox News Peter Ducey asked Press Secretary Jen Psaki about the potential super spreader event. Let's take a listen. But I would note first that former President Obama has been a huge advocate of individuals getting vaccinated. Uh, when CDC provided, has provided, what CDC has provided guidance on is for indoor settings in high or substantial high zones of COVID cases. This event, according to all the public reporting, is outdoors and in a moderate zone. But in addition, there is testing requirements and other steps they're taking, which I'm sure they can outline for you in more detail. People who are watching this at home and they see, well, President Obama can have a party with several hundred people. Should they think that it is okay for them to have a party with seven, several hundred people now? Well, we certainly advise everyone to follow public health guidelines, uh, which I know the former president, who is a huge advocate of getting vaccinated, of following the guidance of public health experts, would certainly advocate for himself as well. People who were invited included Eddie Vedder, John Legend, Dwayne Wade, um, as well as Stephen Colbert. Did he say? I know I said Eddie Vedder. <laughs> hey ho! Going to Obama party with my vaccine. <laughs> Why? Some people and celebrities had their invitations revoked, including Larry David, David Axelrod, Conan O'Brien, and David Letterman. <laughs> oh, party's gonna suck. In Bible and Times News, do you know about the Tower of Babel? You should. It's in the Old Testament. The Tower of Babel, the subject of one of the strangest stories in the Bible. But could it be based on truth? I thought as a kid this was folklore or legend. And then a lot of people still think of it in biblical terms as some kind of legend, but they don't really know that it actually existed. I'm really at the place where the tower stood. The fragile remains of the legendary city of Babylon in modern day Iraq have revealed many secrets. The greatest of all, was the discovery of a vast structure that ancient records suggest was the Tower of Babel. Ancient texts have allowed experts to imagine what the building might have looked like. But now, astounding new evidence has emerged. 
In other news, U.S. will now require COVID-19 shots for foreign travelers. The Biden administration is taking the first steps toward requiring nearly all foreign visitors to the U.S. to be vaccinated to be for the coronavirus, according to a report from the Associated Press. As the world opens up to Americans, the U.S. has so far failed to reciprocate banning entry for many foreign travelers and perpetually extending the closure of its land borders with Canada and Mexico. We will be ready when it is the right time to uh, consider reopening travel, and that will be guided, as always, by the science and the public health. For the first time, the White House has hinted what the future of entry into the U.S. might look like, including a likely requirement that all foreign travelers be vaccinated. Details about what kind of proof would be required and which vaccines would be accepted still have to be decided. This is acknowledgement that there's really one way out of this pandemic, and it's broad vaccination by the entire world. You really do need to have some sort of minimum standards. Testing is not enough. The explosive spread of the Delta variant in the U.S. has put any plans for loosened travel restrictions on hold for now. There are 60,000 COVID patients in American hospitals. CDC models suggest a continued surge of new cases in the range of 200,000 daily new infections by late August, driven by lagging vaccination rates in many states. The biggest concern is that that the virus will continue to mutate, and it will, and that it could become more deadly. A vaccine requirement for visitors would land as domestic vaccine mandates ramp up. Los Angeles is the latest U.S. city to consider mandatory vaccination to access gyms, restaurants, and public buildings. New York City announced similar plans this week, all meant to encourage vaccination at home as the U.S. grapples with a resurging virus within its own borders. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington. (laughs) Thunderstorms bring risk of flooding as unsettled weather continues. Heavy downpours and thunderstorms could cause flash flooding across parts of the UK. In other news, actor Jennifer Aniston says she's cut off those who haven't been against COVID-19. Who cares? <laughs> I haven't really had it yet, Jennifer. All right. All right, no matter. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell to get updates and God bless.